and uh, we are now using the one of the possibilities we download <coughs> we up, up, upload the data from the database so we click load database as on the on the right uh, in, in this window you can see different options each spectra computed for eyes open eyes closed condition in five task condition <coughs> so because we compute a spectra for the task so we select the vcpt task and uh, we just click uh, okay Hmm? Yeah, we we select patient. We click OK, and uh, uh, we got uh, the difference wave. Uh, each graph is uh, the difference between the patient spectra and the mm, normal spectra. So we compute spectra. Uh, for the group of healthy subjects of the corresponding age and we subtract the spectra from the spectra of this patient. So this is the results of this comparison. <coughs> As you can see in this patient there is increase of slow activity and we can map this increase of slow activity. Uh, we just need to have the map window and, uh, and we can map this activity so mostly this uh, slow activity is uh, at the left side of the uh, frontally and <coughs> we can do this comparison by um, uh, in absolute power we can do it in uh, amplitude and we can do it in relative power so to to make comparison in relative power just simply click in value uh, this uh, select this option you know percent p and uh, <coughs> i usually normalize uh, the spectra so i am using normalization uh, frequency band from 3 up to 30 hertz and uh, in this normalization bed, you can see that uh, this patient has excessive <coughs> uh, <coughs> excessive activity at frequency band about 13 hertz. So it's probably mu rhythm, which is uh, generated over the sensory motor strip and uh, of quite high frequency band. Okay. So th that what we got from this analysis. Uh, then we return back to uh, to EEG window. What we want to do? We want to compute uh, event-related potential. So go to analysis, I click uh, compute ERPs option, I download parameters uh, of uh, processing from the database click VCPT, we are doing VCPT task, uh, and uh, mm, check whether these, uh, the parameters were already defined for subject response processing, and they were defined, digital one, so click OK, and uh, the, the program compute your piece, okay. Uh, the ERPs are connected. I usually prefer uh, uh, different colors than it's uh, I, uh, seen here. So go to setup and change the colors. Go to setup, <coughs> graph formats, and select. Say uh, we want to to select the first the first category of trials to be green and uh, with the thick line uh, the next to be red also be thick line i prefer thick lines the next would be blue thick line and the black thick line okay so that we got uh, this so that that um, uh, we have it, uh, and uh, uh, this is ERPs computed for this uh, subject, and 
and uh, let's select uh, the second stimulus presentation and only go no go condition so this is your key for go no go condition now we correct the baseline from the second stimulus presentation and uh, here we see this uh, your piece uh, for computed for go and no go condition uh, Green is go condition and the red is no go condition. We can map the amplitude, uh, the maximum of the potentials in go condition, in no go condition. As you can see, there is anterization, anterization of the no go potential. I, I usually prefer not uh, using these um, uh, uh, these counters. So go to setup uh, uh, montage style and don't draw uh, either potential counters. Okay, then it's better. It looks better. <coughs> and uh, we can also compute the difference between go and no go condition and we can compute uh, the the uh, uh, can map uh, the difference between go and no go condition so everything looks quite okay so we have we, we computed the rp that we can see rp after the second stimulus presentation so Green is a go condition, red is no go, blue is different between go and no go condition. And then we can go to analysis and we can, can compare the EURPs with the database. And uh, we can compute this. Okay, so we compute it. Uh, we, we compared ERPs with the database, so we go to analysis and we can see uh, the results of, of comparison with the behavioral da data. <coughs> we open this window, which is results of every, averaging and subject response processing. And you see p-values of uh, computing the deviation from normality. Uh, in this case, uh, the p-value of deviation from normality in emission errors is, uh, is 0.7, which is normal. P-value for reaction time is also normal. As you can see, the reaction time for this subject was 350 milliseconds, while in, in normal population just only 400 milliseconds, so he reacts faster than in norms. Uh, variation of response is also m smaller than in norms, so all parameters behavior look quite normal. And uh, uh, then we can uh, compare ERPs uh, for, say, for no go condition in this patient, no go condition in the normative database. In this, on this window, green is. Uh, the patient ERPs, uh, red is uh, normative data, and these are results of, compari of uh, comparison, uh, the uh, normative data and the, health and the subject data are superimposed on each other. Uh, well, in this case, uh, you can hardly see, uh, say anyth anything.